during the short how-to video on how to capture a chemilescent western blot using the chemi blot series mode in Genesis image capture software you'll be shown how to 1. Position your sample 2. Acquire an image 3. How to save or export images 4. Export your analysis software Chemi plot series allows you to take a series of images and lets the user choose the best image from the range. This mode is for users who are used to putting their blot to film and wishes to see it develop over time. When you open Genesis software from the icon on the desktop, you will see the home page. From the home page, select blots then Chemi Blot Series. To ensure maximum resolu resolution, use the sample size pop-up to select your sample size to ensure your sample fills the screen. For this example, we will select 7 times 8.4 centimeters. Don't worry if you select the wrong size, you can always adjust the zoom later. Place the black anti reflector screen on top of the translator and place your sample on top in a central position. The system should prompt you to place the black screen into the dark room if this is the first time as the dark room has been used for another application. With chemilescent samples, to make it easier to focus your image, you can either leave the dark room door open or turn the white light on. Adjust the focus and the zoom using the lens controls. Focus the image until the edges of the membrane are nice and sharp. Select the reagent from the drop down menu. This is for reference purposes only. Select the level of binning from the drop down menu. Binning combines adjacent pixels to form super pixels, but will result in reduction of resolution. Using binning can reduce the exposure time required for chemilescence. Select the number of images you would like to capture and then check the box if you would like to capture an additive series. An additive series will combine each subsequent image captured to the previous image, improving the signal-to-noise ratio and providing smoother backgrounds. Select the exposure time for each capture or use the same exposure time for all images. Select to capture a visible or colour marker if your system has the functionality with the correct filters installed. Then close the dark room door and press capture. Captured images will appear in the film strip. If you selected to capture a visible or colour marker the top image is the multiplex of the chemi image and the marker image. This from the series as a single image using the same imaging conditions, you need to go to the settings page from the home screen. From chemi general settings, Select to enable capture timing for chemi series and SAC. Select the image on the film strip that you wish to capture as a single image. Then press the capture with time button. You can choose which chemi image you would like to be overlaid with the marker image. Select the image and then use in multiplex button. 
If you're regularly capturing similar images, you can save these settings as a protocol, which will be saved on the home screen. Use the histogram or the contrast slide bars to make adjustments to the brightness and contrast, making it easier to see fainter bands. To save the image, select the save icon and from the pop-up, use the drop down menu to select from which image to save from to which image to save to. Check the boxes to save all images in the selected range or to include sub-images. Then press OK. Select an image from the list to see a preview and select the browse button to choose the save path. To save time when saving, check the box to remember the save path. Press save selected A data report pop-up will now appear, which can be exported as doc text for reference only. This will save the image in the SGG format. The SGG format is fully GLP compliant format that ensures image and data integrity, essential for labs with 21 CFR compliance requirements. If you prefer to save your image as a TIFF or a JPEG, then use the Save As icon to export images as displayed or as captured. You can also set the DPI and the bit depth when working as a TIFF image. For analysis, export your image to GeneTools analysis software using this icon.